Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. Well, we might think that's something that we could say about the way the world is going today as well. Everyone does what's right in their own eyes. Uh, but these are words taken from the book of Judges in the Old Testament. We're going to spend a little bit of time with a verse there in that book of Judges. I'm Pastor Richard Krause coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Glad to bring you the word today. And uh, the word is this, Judges chapter 3, verse 31. Here's what we read there. After Ehud came Shamgar, son of Anath, who struck down 600 Philistines with an ox goad. He too saved Israel. During this time of Judges, rather obscure time in the history of Israel, we have different uh, judges that are spoken about maybe we'd say uh, rulers that God raised up for his purposes. Some of those people we hear more about, some less about, and uh, two of the more prominent ones are Samson and um, Gideon. And there's the woman Deborah. And others are spoken about at some length. But here we hear about this obscure name. Ever hear of Shamgar before? Well, Shamgar was one of the judges, and he's spoken about just in one verse. We don't have anything before about Shamgar. We don't have anything after. The only thing we hear is uh, that he took an ox goad, something that you would use to drive the oxen, and he killed 600 of the enemy, 600 Philistines. And now we don't hear anything more about him. Uh, but I think uh, we can learn a little something from this verse that God raises up people and sometimes uh, we don't know the names of those people and sometimes we know very little about those people. But God raises up people in his own time, in his own way to serve him and his purposes. And in the same way, God raises us up. He puts us into a specific area, a specific sphere our friends and our relatives and our workplace are unique. Uh, they're unique to us. And God has given us a purpose within this place that he has put us. And God wants us to do something about it. He doesn't say necessarily pick up an ox goat and go after the enemy. But in his own way, he encourages us. Not long ago, I came across a quote from President Teddy Roosevelt, dated 1910. Now, bear with me for a moment. I think uh, these words are rather striking. So this comes from Teddy Roosevelt. He says this, It is not the critic who counts, not the person who points out how the strong person stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the person who is actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself or herself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he or she fails, at least fails while doing something and daring something great, so that his or her place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. I know that's a lot to uh, hear in one sitting, uh, but uh, isn't Teddy Roosevelt saying that uh, we need to be people who attempt things, who dare things? who get out and do things. Don't sit around all day and watch TV. Don't sit around all day and uh, do nothingness. Uh, we are people who need to dare to do things for our Lord. And it might not be that we have some prominent place. Maybe we think about how sooner or later I'm put into a graveyard and uh, nobody's going to know my name. Uh, nobody's going to remember me. And yet uh, the Lord knows. That's the one who is important. He is the one who has put you where you are today, and he is the one who is looking for you to serve him and to do great things for him, just like Shamgar. <laughs>